Hi there and welcome back. So here we are all toggered up with safety gear. We've come back to the lathe to have a look at this Eastwood gel rust dissolver. So, let's see what it's done to the lathe. We'll get this plastic sheeting off and uh, have a look and see what's happened. So we'll have to dispose of these bits quite carefully and we'll bag them up and put them in a special bin somewhere. Make sure we can keep them separate from the household waste. come on over have a closer look so as we can see something's happened to the surface of the metalwork and the rust it's not showing to be quite as clear at the moment as it shows on the bottle but I'll hit it with this scotch pad thing and uh, we'll see where we get to see what effect has actually happened Well, the stuff's still active it's not completely dried up which is what the plastic sheeting was supposed to do keep it active stop it from evaporating away i think i can still feel the um the rust binding So it may have to get another session at it yet. It's been stood the regulation eight hours kind of thing and um, it certainly had some effect. But it's not totally been the miracle cure that I was actually hoping for. Certainly binding just there. This was the area where when we measured it, it was about six thou proud of the original surface of these slideways so we'll see what's happened to the rust pile shortly because i'll try and measure it again and see whether it has actually reduced the height of the rust pile As we can see, the contaminant is coming off. Although I'm rubbing with this, it's still showing that the rusted part is um, rusted brown. And not completely clear like, um, like I was hoping it was going to be.
So it's certainly bringing the rust off. It's certainly not taken the rust pile down as I would have expected it to have done so. Or, or as I would have hoped that it would have done. Don't forget the dovetail of the slideways that were treated as well. I can feel rust down the back side of there. It is rather encouraging to come back in here though and find out that the lathe hasn't completely disappeared where I've put this stuff so that's always a, a bonus. That's not feeling too bad under there. Perhaps a shot blasting would be better on these threads. But we'll see. Let's have a look at what we put in the bag. So again, it's not affected the plastic of this hand wheel, as it said it wouldn't. It hasn't decimated the chrome work.
So there we are. I'll put some more of this solution on again and leave it a while longer. And uh, we'll come back to it again after a number of hours. And we'll see what happens on a, uh, a second application of this solution. But we've tried one or two different types of steel etc and uh, it's not left me a totally shiny finish on any of the surfaces I can still feel that there's a, a mound of rust here quite what that mound size is I'll just have a look now with the micrometer again Turn the micrometer on. It's currently zeroed at the moment with the meet with the measuring edges together. So I will have to open it again. Push this down onto a known good surface. So that's given me a 1.5 difference so i'll zero that now and we know that the point on the end of here and the bottom of this scale are bang on so we'll put the pointer into a decent piece of steel and we'll bring this outer edge down again onto the crown of the rust if you like and see what that is so we've got two thou there. Not sure whether you can see that. Let's have a look. Two thou. So we've got two thou on there. Let's do another another reading over here. If you remember we were having about six thou at one point, weren't we? That's showing me a thou. 1.5 it was so maybe maybe the rust has been taken down a bit 3 thou so maybe in using one of these cloths again and the solution being on Maybe it has taken the crown of the rust pile down by uh, perhaps three thou because it was showing six or maybe seven thou earlier. So maybe it has come down. It's all a benefit. But at this point in time, it's not really the uh, finish I was looking for. We're still looking at 5,000 now on this reading. Of course, this isn't accurate. This is just a, a ballpark figure, really. Four thou. So I'll get gloved up again and uh, off camera. I'll put some more of this rust dissolver back on, on these areas again, and uh, we'll see what happens again. So there we are, maybe not quite the clean, shiny, new looking lathe that I was hoping to find when I came in and uh, removing this packaging, but we will see how we go on, we're optimistic yet, we'll put some more of this stuff on and see how we go after that. Okay, bye for now.